Hello, welcome to this week six Underworld game. Um, so we're playing uh, Necromantic this week. Another team that's been struggling. Um, I think just has one win going into this game. Uh, so I'm above them with, with two wins. Uh, and I won the toss. Thought about it for a while and then chose to uh, chose to receive because um, so we'll go behind us. But oh, yeah, well I've been struggling to to score with Underworld. I wanted to make sure I could have a go at it when I've got eleven players on the pitch because I don't expect to keep eleven players on the pitch going into the second half. So anything I can do to make my attack and drive a little bit easier, I thought would be worth a look. So Necromantic gets settled in. Uh, we'll look at how their team's developing. Uh, are we there? I think so. There we go. Yeah, so bench is one zombie. Line of scrimmage, two block zombies and another zombie. And there is a fourth zombie. I think that's the fourth one. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Fifth altogether with the one on the bench. Uh, two werewolves uh, tucked in here. So one with block, one with dodge. Two unleveled whites. Um, there is a ghoul up the back there. Extra bribes. Uh, I took a bribe as an inducement as well. Uh, had a goblin. Goblin catch the kick. Uh, two flesh golems as well. So one was leveled and took mighty blow first. Um, so hopefully, look, well, looking to hopefully uh, generate more star player points with more casualties uh, and level a bit quicker than perhaps if they took a to take and block uh, which is risky but possible you've got, you'll get payoffs from it um, so yeah we've got a goblin under the ball um, which makes this throw being back here a bit redundant nothing looks like that's my first move is get that throw forwards uh, this is a new throw to the team um, I have a block throw who's missing the game um, another goblin over in this wing all the goblins in the team are unleveled four more are in the line of scrimmage filling it up um, Troll with no levels, uh, Blitzer with no levels, Mighty Blow, Blitzer there, and one Skaven Lyman. So down the Skaven Lyman, who retired last game. Um, and this, so this Mighty Blow Blitzer is the only increase on the pitch. Block throw is out of the game. And there's a, yeah, another Goblin on the bench. And catching that shallow kick um, means I, yeah, sort of immediately have to start thinking about where I'm going to make the ball safe. Um, let's run some blocks first. Uh, I think I accidentally rolled that one dice block. Uh, this this goblin had two dice, um, but I was trying to free three goblins up to come and uh, cage the ball a bit better. Three dice for the troll, which is what I wanted. Uh, just needs two assists for three dice and a strength three player. And yeah, trying to look at stopping a, um, a werewolf coming round to, to trouble me from this side. Um, so needs a long way round to get the ball for that and uh, puts it out of reach. So just three pushbacks this turn from my blocks. And tight cage in there. Goblin tucking in for behind the troll. Gives me a better chance of having the troll next to somebody next turn for that really stupid roll. Um, zombie straight in to tag the troll, which leaves me a hit on, but also means I can't be repositioning my troll where I want to. Um, but Barry is on four star player points, so I want him hitting people every turn if possible. No one, no one knocked out in the opening turns. Uh, knocked over, even. That's what I meant to say. Come over here for a bit more. Uh, flesh column here as well. So, reacting to where the ball is and heavily defending this side, um, which means I'll probably be looking to try and move this way instead. Uh, werewolf has come in there to make that more difficult. And get two dice in this flesh golem. Uh, finally get a knockdown. Choose not to stand firm. Um, if all the bribes available, it's probably good to fall back from the uh, foul assists. Uh, ball does move over this way. And 
trial has a turn over there. I think I was probably looking at a cheeky goblin foul there, which would have been a pretty high roll to pull off. Um, but yeah, didn't get to that. Uh, threw away re-roll as well on that failed loner roll. I had to take them both down. But no removals yet. Um, only the second necromantic turn just getting underway, but I've, it's probably the longest I've gone possibly ever without having a player removed, uh, which is not bad going. This blitz, uh, I uh, on three points, I obviously want to score a touchdown with if possible in this game. Um, but there's a bit, yeah, a bit of a net closing in on my cage around the ball here. a blitz from this wolf no no blitz this turn so just, yeah it's two wolves in here so pretty surrounded troll was only going to be standing up this turn so get that done straight away while there's still players next to it uh, yeah and that's dodge over there gives me two dice on this zombie for a knockdown uh, which grabs an injury and levels that blitzer so only leveled player is uh, also the first to get to second level. Uh, also, only leveled player in this match, at least. Uh, then go for a blitz with that thrower, just a pushback. Uh, yeah, I needed to keep my blitzer there and not follow up to uh, protect this side of the ball. And uh, just having to shuffle over a bit there. to keep quite a tight cage here do have one of my cage corners in contact here so definitely potential for uh, for a blitz on the ball and things are getting very congested around the ball which is not good for me on the attack and drive Following up there can give, yeah, get a marker on the ball carrier. No real way out at the moment. And that's quite a painful injury. This is a miss next game one. So throw it, throw it out for the rest of this game, miss the next one. Just considering the, um, using the apothecary on that. But, um, yeah, because it wasn't permanent. Um, wanted, wanted to make sure any anything permanent on either of my blitzers was uh, was get, I was going to get a chance to re-roll. Um, so decided not to. Um, do straight away that mighty blue blitzer had two dice on a werewolf. Uh, you've got to take that really. Um, just a knockdown though, no armor break. Another another both down from the troll. Uh, re-rolled that time. And got away with got away with a, a loader and a pushback, but that didn't get the flesh golem away from the ball carrier. And a double skulls there. Used a the reroll on the troll, and then double skulls popping up. Uh, wanted to at least push back this this um, zombie, so I could get the blitz who I want to score up the pitch. Perhaps ready to dodge away with the ball uh, and get it to him. Should probably have sorted the ball stuff out first because this flesh gun has got two dice on, the, on my ball carrier. Just uh, take him for a pushback uh, into that wolf. Pushing back there gives a frenzy. Uh, okay, going with the white. Uh, both downs good enough. Boss, uh, same for I uh, knocked out, knocked out goblin two. Um, yeah, what I was seeing uh, as it happened was when. Yeah, the pushback happened towards that wolf. I was expecting two dice from the wolf, um, pushing into into there. Then you could push back into the flesh golem. Choose to use stand firm, keep it there for another two dice, so you don't have to worry about um, pushing. Yeah, pushing into tackle zones and, and putting assists down that you don't want and things like that. Although I think it would have been two dice into two here anyway, wherever they'd gone. Um, so that would have been fine. But 
a useful little tool with, with stand firm if you're forcing a chain push um yeah stand firm and frenzy you can make sure your second block is going to be to your advantage as well um bounce caught by my blitzer which is nice um because there's no attempt on the ball this time but i do have um yeah ball carrier marked by a flesh golem um and it looks like a best of four plus dodge out at the moment <clears throat> Three guys on that goblin. Ryan Clark Neil taking another knockout. Um, a couple of dice on that one too, Dave. He's fine. Right, so trapped in here, very effectively marked. Well, it's just by a flesh column, isn't it? Yeah, so I can't even look at trying to get. Uh, trying to blitz and move away because a pushback means I've got a dodge anyway and the best dodge I've got available is a 4 plus so have to look at other ways of trying to get the ball free uh, I'm going for the blitz with the flesh golem uh, which does does work actually because I get, get the knockdown um, oh but then yeah realised after I'd made that blitz, handy knockout from Barry. Whereas after I've made that blitz, I've done things in the wrong order a bit. Because um, I should have been looking at getting that. If I'd got that um, zombie out of the way first, uh, oh, actually, yeah, there's still because this zombie in here, there's still no good way out. I'd have to have dodge. Oh no, if I got rid of that one first, then done the blitz, I could have moved after to go here. But I still got to dodge through here. Yeah, it's still, it, it was the wrong decision basically to, to make that blitz. And I think I realised after actually throwing the block that there was uh, nowhere good to go. So I wasted my blitz a bit that time. Uh, foul, foul ineffective, no sending off either. Uh, flesh bomb straight back up to mark the ball carrier again. Just got him hitting the troll, so I thought it'd be an att attempt on the uh, the ball that turn, but instead, just um, yeah, surrounded by flesh golems. Fancy knocked down from that wolf. Three markers on the ball, a white and two flesh golems, and a zombie. So ball player, ball carrier, completely surrounded. Um. And not really a lot I can do here. So I just got trapped in. It's by attacking drive and just got totally trapped in. Um, very effective defense to just wrap around me. Trying to dodge away there with, I think that's the ball carrier. Was it? No, it's the other blitzer. Oh yeah, I was trying to be clever. Um, and chain push, because I've got a T-shape here. You chain push from uh, sort of a flat plane into a T-shape. You get your chain push and I was looking at pushing back into the ball carrier to get him out onto a corner um, this where this prone player is and then I've finally got a decent dodge out it looks like um, but as I was doing that I realized I was reliant on this flesh golem not standing firm uh, for that to work so not much good as it turned out because I, I get the push back um, and stand firm into stand, stand firm flesh column meant that that didn't work didn't help at all and i'm left uh just as i was I stand everyone up to limit assists uh and have to go for a desperate handoff of a six and drop the ball there um yeah if that six had come off i got a couple of dodges out for this goblin so maybe try and uh, get the ball up the pitch a little bit and then quad skulls um which was, I think, yeah, the first first bad dice the necromantic coach had rolled, rolled, so it, it felt like some small measure of justice or something as it happened, um, which is maybe a bit unreasonable. Um, but, uh, yeah, was kind of just what I needed. So now I've got two uh, tackle zones to clear off the ball. Still got one flesh golem in here. Um, and, of course, 
one just got knocked out uh, with, with that double skulls as well, or double double skulls. Um, but this is my turn seven. At the end of this turn, I need at least one player who is going to be able to score next turn for me to have any chance of doing it. Um, and doing that involves a throw teammate. So priorities are get these zombies on the ball knocked over. Um, I had only had one based. So that means I have to blitz this zombie. Um, and I'm going to have to use some uh, dodging goblins to do it because I need several together. Uh, if I want at least a push back, it's got to be him here. Still got no no one in scoring position though, and I've had to roll a lot of dice so far. Um, so come pick up three tackle zones on the ball, and then Scaven Lyman down here, um, out of reach of as many opposing players as possible. And the completely unsubtle way of getting someone in scoring position is to just throw them down there uh, and stick the landing with a reroll. So. Have a player who can score next turn, have possession of the ball, can need to make a pretty long throw, or a handoff and a throw, handoff and a shorter throw. Um, was surprised it was the troll that was blitzed and not the uh, the goblin who's in scoring position. Um, but a, a claw knockdown on my troll is maybe too good an opportunity to pass up, uh, and there's a, a there's a marker on the ball carrier. Blitz are knocked down. Fresh golem. Couple of dice on that goblin. It's just a push back. <clears throat> so I think I was looking at that's just a really stupid pass for the troll standing up. It was on a four plus. I knew there'd be no one else there, so I thought I might as well just stand him up to at least be a nuisance uh, in the, op the opponent's turn. Um, but yeah, I think I was looking at as my best play um maybe what was i looking at i think i was looking at hand off to a goblin goblin runs through this gap and throws it and tries to get a decent throw i, I can't remember what i actually did in the end but i was quite pleased with the solution i found so let's see what it was it may have involved a blitz here actually ah yes so blitz blitz on this zombie it means i don't have to run through that gap that's right So knock down there, so I can get the ball to this goblin, uh, and that's a handoff, which means this goblin needs to make a pass to this one. And it's a four plus catch. I think four plus four plus, uh, but fumbles the throw on a one. Um, so yeah, touchdown opportunity was still alive, um, but yeah, didn't didn't make it. But Necromantic can still score here. Um, this werewolf can still reach the end zone. Got a white coming to blitz this goblin off the ball. Then we've got a, uh, a double skulls is really odd to push back. Gets the goblin off the ball though, makes that a 3 plus dodge, 3 plus pickup. Um, had to use their last reroll on that double double skulls. Um, and we'll probably have wanted it for this pass really, because that's an inaccurate pass, um, which is not cool. And we finished the half with no score, so my attacking drive did not work out well. Um, and I've been struggling with attacking drives with this, this team all season, um, which is why I'm starting to take the opportunity, if, if I win the toss, to try and do it first half when I've got more players on the pitch. So no knocked out players back. Uh, I've had an injury as well. And Necromantic doing... Uh, oh, I think they regenerated their injury, didn't they? So two knocked out players down. Um, Mighty Blow Flesh Column and a Block Zombie, so that's uh, pretty helpful. Um, so I would like to have set up wider to stop the... Or, or to make the werewolves work for space on the flanks. But I'm down to... I'm down to nine players. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. Um, so the Necromantics, ten, I think. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so outnumbered and yeah, have to defend against against this. Um, extra reroll might be useful, puts me up to five for the turn. Uh, kick not caught. But yeah, I can roll straight into some safe blocks on here. 
using block players first. Uh, there's an injury for that white, which I think levels that white. It does. Should be the white. Um, and three, at least three dice for the flesh golem on that goblin. Um, interesting. Good thing the necromantic coach did there was to make those blocks diagonally. Which means if you get stuck with pushbacks, you can push them onto someone else to have a go at them. So, if this um, this white's uh, block on the goblin who was here had just been a pushback, could have just put it there. This block on we could have had a go as well. Say with this this three dice block on the goblin there, the flesh goblin followed up into. Yeah, could have pushed there, and then someone else could have had a block as well. Um, sort of maximises the opportunities you get to, to throw blocks from the line of scrimmage, where if you're just doing it straight, you, you, your pushbacks are further away from the line of scrimmage and not into any other players. So if you want to hit that player, you have to go blitz them. Um, and yeah, sort of makes makes the most of the actions you've got available by throwing those blocks diagonally, like crossing over each other. So lots of marking up of players with zombies over here. Um, so the troll and the mighty blow blitz are both occupied. Um, I will be looking to get an assist on this zombie to get a mighty blow block hit on it. Uh, where are we going to see? Uh, no blitz, no blitz again. So there's a couple of turns in this game where there's been no blitz from the uh, necromantic team. Um, probably wasn't really a safe two dice into two dice they could have made with the um, uh, the, the werewolf. Uh, yeah, because of frenzy traps and such. Uh, but yeah, throw some of those blocks. I think uh, the troll first what, was a bit risky, unless it's three dice, so I might have missed that. Um, yeah, now I do want an assist on this zombie. Uh, just to push back. Decent re-roll there. Had um, had five re-rolls for the half, so probably worth throwing that, throwing it at that one dice. Um, and was there looking at a blitz on the ball? It was a couple of dodges and then a two plus uphill. Uh, sorry, two dice, two dice uphill block. Um, which is what I want a wrestle goblin for. But uh, while I haven't got one, happy to throw the last action at the turn uh, at the ball if I've got it available. So it was pretty well screened. Um, yeah, it sort of needs stunty to, to pull off things like that. But I found the first dodge anyway. <clears throat> right, it's that one down, so go hand off for the wolf, and this could be a quick uh, two turn touchdown this werewolf being left unmarked. And we get a 1-0 lead, so in turn 9. Um, so timing of the touchdown is pretty good for me. Because it gives me, yeah, maximises my chance of trying to score back before half time, but um, yeah, my last attack and drive didn't go well. Uh, so both knockouts back, which is good. Uh, both knockouts not back, which is also good. And uh, yeah, so back up to 11 players against the Necromantics 10. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, because they were on 12. And I'm on 13, yeah, so 11, 11 plays 10. I can try and set up another attack. <clears throat> Just one flesh golem to, to attack uh, in this drive does make things quite a bit easier. So a bit of swapping round, so I want a three dice block with my troll because it's the um the one of the riskiest blocks I can throw. I want to try and make sure it's three dice. Um I'm not sure what this blitz is doing in the middle there. Um, so nothing, nothing. So no throw on the pitch means I have a um, yeah scavenger lineman sort of filling in for the thrower and a goblin down here who's on five points. Um, that's a failed really stupid for that three dice block. 
has a bit of a habit of doing that, Barry. Um, failing really stupid when he's got a nice three dice block to level. Uh, this time get it right with two dice uh, with a goblin who doesn't need to be able to assist throwing the block. Um, sort of couldn't assist because of because of that one. It's the mighty blow one. Uh, just getting a knockdown. And yeah, if I've got a wall of blitz here, it's going to take three goblins to hit the white. <clears throat> and also looking at where I can knock him down if, if he's back, and that square is where I wanted. Because when the foul comes in in a minute from over here, I've got two assists. Um, whereas if I'd had to push him that way or there, uh, it would be harder to get the assists on. So specifically looking at the square I wanted to knock down into to get that foul. Um, do collect the ball as well uh, amongst all that foul excitement. Foul, foul again did nothing. Uh, was it a 6-6 six, six on the armour roll? Lots of marking up players here. Force, uh, force me to dodge. Uh, we can have a block on this goblin. So I've got my sort of attacking line a bit more open here, and I'm because uh, I'm outnumbering them uh, number of players wise. <coughs> I'd be hopeful of not getting jammed into the same sort of cage I was in um, in the first half. But yeah, werewolves both poised to strike means I do have to kind of do something with the ball next turn. So second turn in a row, uh, I thought I'd risk the block blitz with the troll that turn to try and um, get the flesh golem knocked down. Um, but yeah, so second, but second turn in a row, failed that really stupid. Um, and having to, yeah, take take the seventy five percent chance of making a pass there, which I do get, and does level that goblin. So finally have a leveled goblin, um, and the blitzer I want scoring, holding the ball. So I need to make him safe here now. Um, and having to yeah, cage up, make some dodges to, to, to get a decent cage. Um, don't have much in the way of contact points here, so I think this is the only goblin they can hit without blitzing, um, is what I'm aiming for anyway. I'm going to move this one away as well, probably. This one down to be a scoring threat. Uh, and there's a foul dodge. I think it's only the second foul dodge I've had in the game. I was looking at manoeuvring this one through the gap over here. Um, I, think, I think I may have been trying to mark the ghoul so that they had to commit somebody else to watching this goblin. Um, but it didn't quite work out like that. And here, uh, yeah, have basically walked into getting hemmed in, much like in the first half. Um, so right here, making that blitz. Uh, can follow up onto the ball does so. Uh, yeah, and all of my screening players are now tagged, um, which means I have to do something about them next turn. <clears throat> uh, both done there. Making that dodge there gives me assist for two dice. Uh, both down for a stun. Um, went for another troll blitz, thinking it can't possibly be three turns in a row uh, that I roll a one for really stupid, but did. Um, so flesh golem is still very much in my way. Had to go there for a dodge with the ball carrier to get an assist here, which um, does get that white knocked down. Uh, and a bit of protection here um, but need to protect uh, well I was running out of players really because the troll's got no tackle zone so I'm failing more dodges than I remembered um, but yeah so this goblin um, well this troll is, isn't is watching the um, uh, 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 the ball carrier because there's no tackle zone with a really stupid foul it means I kind of had to put this goblin there um, to try and protect both sides 
um, which isn't isn't great, um, but it's kind of all I had. And with failing that last dodge as well, um, yeah, it was was all that was really available to me. Um, I would have had to have left either this this uh, approach free or this one. So best I could do really is trying to make this sort of wire cage because the, the the trolls effectively not there. Um, just taking up that one space. But the necromantic here have a pretty simple act of um, putting a tackle zone in this goblin so it can't assist. Um, which I think oh, that was an accidental dodge, uh, is, is what that was. Um, but yeah, they need someone there, and then the flesh golem's just got two dice on the ball carrier. Um, is is going to be what they're looking at, I think. Though putting their blitz down there instead gets a knockdown and probably follow up onto the blitzer from that white yep so two markers on the ball carrier so very much like the first half this uh, and this is probably it's going to be another one walking in unless the flesh golem is going to come stand in there flesh golem's gone there yeah i was expecting the white in that corner but um Another double skull. So there have been a few double skulls thrown in this game. Um, but that's really hard to push back. So, beginning of my turn. So a few players laying down. But what I had been looking at um, before this white was standing there, uh, I'd, yeah, I'd been looking at trying to get the troll to finally act and move this zombie out of the way. Blitz here on this... On this um, this zombie uh, from my Mike Blue Blitzer. Then I've got a three plus dodge available and I can move through here and get this blitzer down the pitch using these goblins and this blitzer to screen. But putting the white there uh, meant I had to do something different. Um, and I think what I found was this unmarked blitzer um, taking a hand off uh, and running away with it. it means the blitzer that I want to score with um, isn't holding the ball anymore. But I need to score and I'm running out of turns. I've got four turns including this one. So handoff successful. And then a blitz here on this one to get him out of the cage. Uh, and the ball is safely out as well. Um, that knockdown uh, can then run away over there. And it's the, the quick players in the necromantic team are tied up over here. So feeling quite good about holding the ball safely over there. But because this blitz is already uh, already levelled, I'd rather he didn't score. So Goblin over there just to watch that zombie, who's the closest player to, to threaten things. Um, and this go Goblin just trying to get in the way. I think the Ghoul over here can try and, kind of try and uh, block my path off a bit, but he's a bit isolated. And then there's a, there's a couple of zombies who might be able to do something about it as well, but they're just going to be chasing. Um, so Gould is over. Have freed up one werewolf. He can come chase down over that way. Um, oh, that's a foul. Go for it. For oh, and out of rerolls for a knockout. So yeah, I think they did have this wolf. Uh, so would have to dodge if he goes there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Yeah. So could only get there without rolling any dice. Um, but could have dodged through. A tackle zone and a couple of go for it. Could probably got to about there. I'm not sure. I think I think it's like really hard dodges to go through. So one, two with a dodge, three, four, and then dodge, dodge on fours, six. Yeah, we'd have to dodge right through that gap um, with some four plus dodges to have actually got on the ball. So that was why I positioned the goblins the way I did. Um, wasn't actually expecting anything to come from that wolf. Uh, but it was only the turnover that prevented that anyway. So splits are unable to score, looking for star player points in other ways, uh, and a casualty would be helpful if he could grab one. Um, this goblin on five, I would like to score, so setting up to hand, hand the ball to it. Um, but just moving some goblins to make that safer 
hand off to the goblin is successful so a player on the ball who I want to score with for the level um, two turns to grab the touchdown after Barry started acting okay more recently uh, both down there is a stun for my lineman and just a knockdown on the wolf leaves me with uh, yeah not re-rolling that leaves me with two re-rolls for the last two turns in case I do get stuck here and really need it to make sure I score and both down have to take a both down there on that two dice block um, and I think I just run this in don't I yeah I didn't want to take any risks with not scoring and uh, do make it 1-1 one, one. Uh, so another level goblins having yeah, three players leveling in a game was um, it's quite a big deal. It's game, game six, and they're the yeah, third, fourth, and fifth levels I've had. Um, took a long time to level the other two. But suddenly all those people have grabbed MVPs along the line and doing good things and getting getting over six points. One of the levels was to a 16. Um, but yeah, I think that Blitzer has had two MVPs. At least one, anyway. So one turn to try and score for Necromantic. Um, so I want to be wary of leaving them an easy route to get chain pushes happening. Um, and do need to be wary of a riot as well, adding another turn to the game because a werewolf is very capable of scoring in two turns. Um, and I think I'd probably be in trouble if that was what happened. Uh, I am still on 10 players. Um, but blizzard um, so no score and there'll be no long passes either I don't think we have anything of significance happen in these last turns Zombie blitz on a goblin. Somewhere's there. And, uh... Oh yeah, a foul. Because it's Rylan Clark Neil, and uh, there's there's a bounty on his head or something. We had a turn sixteen foul just to knock out. Um, but yeah, that does aid in Ryland Clark Neal's quest to be the most knocked out player in the league. I believe he is top of the table uh, as it stands. Um, and quite surprised that the uh, opposing coach was basing, play basing dangerous players for just one turn when they could have stood off and forced me to pick where I'm going to make one blitz. Uh, complete pass there for the Wolf for the point. And this one running away. Um, I'm actually standing there, so I'm just looking at some decent blocks I might be able to get off. Um, but I'm pretty sure nothing comes of any of them. Um, I do want an assist over here to make this two dice. Knockout. Um, so where Ryan Clark Neal is um, the most knocked out player in the league, I think this Blitzer is having a good go at committing the most knockouts. Um, so I'm throwing a go for it at, at that to try because I'm trying to get a three dice block for my troll, um, which means I did need to uh, to get that one in. Uh, does get a knockdown. Does need just just one casualty to level. Just a stun there. Yeah, I've got one dice on this uh, this zombie, which is also a knockdown. I think that's the last action of the game. Uh, yeah, we are done. So one one, I think, pretty good um, result for me um, as 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 it goes. Um, yeah, was not expecting good things from that game, and uh, yeah, I think got away with a draw. Not massively outblocked either. I'm quite happy with those numbers. Only six behind. I grabbed a lot of knockouts. I think my 
Um, my Mighty Blow players did, I think, at least three of those. Um, yeah, had a lot more of the ball as well. I suppose I had two long attacking drives. It's a necromantic scored in two turns. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be the difference in that particular stat. Uh, decent Hall of Star player points. Uh, that's the touchdown and MVP on that goblin who levelled. Now only three points off another level as well. Um, this was that's the Blitzer grabbing a casualty, uh, which also levelled him, and this goblin grabbing a pass, which also levelled him. So those three players all levelled in this game. Um, I think, yeah, this uh, Jimmy the White. I'm pretty sure levelled uh, in, from this game. Death has a lot to see from dice. I, I felt like, yeah, I felt like in the game I was doing a lot better with dodges than this, um, but it looks like that's perhaps not the case. I think a lot of these values were re-rolled for dodge and they were all mostly coming off successfully. I was looking back and I think I can only remember actually three failed dodges from goblins in the whole game. So seven of these were re-rolled successes. Um, Go for it. The only go for it I failed was was three plus, but not rolling many, which is always my aim. Um, only roll them when I really need to, and I wasn't leaving myself many situations where I really had to roll them. Um, <laughs> made a landing, made a made a throw teammate, uh, which is nice. Um, yeah, still still rolling rolling a lot of dice with this team, a lot more than I was rolling with my chaos team last season. Um, but that is, you know, I am deliberately throwing loads of dodges with this team because I like uh, the opportunities that Stunty and Dodge can give you um, and, and yeah going going for that so throwing a lot more dice uh, and I'm also getting injured a lot more than also my Chaos team uh, so here are, here are our final scores this week the other game only other game we haven't seen yet was um, this uh, this was Halflings against Lizardmen ended 3-0 to the Lizardmen um, I think we had a couple more deaths for a dead, couple more dead Halflings so they're really starting to um yeah, to, to take some injuries now. The team's got very small. I think they're going to have to field five journeymen in their last game of the season. Um, yeah, which is which is uh, quite a shame. Um, but yeah, this I, I watched in the end of this game. I had another game going on while it was. Uh, that's uh, that's that that's closer in block succeeded than I was expecting to to see. Um, but yeah, not not so with injuries. So loads of loads of um, yeah, or well, kill, kills and injuries for halflings in that game. Don't think any treemen left the pitch. Um, and yeah, a whole bunch of star player points for the lizard men in that one. And uh, yeah, not rolling many dice. Um, which uh, with the sort of lack of um, oh yeah, fireball hits hit six people but didn't hit any of them. Another, another very wet fireball from the um, Halflings Hired Wizard. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so because Lizard Men lack skills that give you rerolls, Dodge is the only one they've got. Or skills that make blocking safe, like they've got one block player. Um, they have to be careful about not rolling that many dice and um, not having to use not having to use rerolls and stuff like Go For It, Sony 2 Go For It's. Um, is, is a good way of, of dealing with a, a real lack of rerolls, um, and they were losing team rerolls from the Master Chef as well. Um, yeah, and I think not throwing rerolls at this failed pick up, uh, stuff like that. So they were, yeah, playing very cautiously uh, because of that lack of rerolls and lack of skills that, that give them um, those sorts of things. Um, but yeah, here we are. Uh, standings after, after week six um, look like this. So I'm still down in fifth after that draw, um, but ahead of this necromantic team. Uh, necromantic team are playing halflings next week, um, and I think it's probably fair to say on paper we'll be looking to win it. So it could climb above me. I'm playing uh, this North team down here. We've also been struggling. One one four, choose the same record as the necromantic team, and they're going to have a bit of inducements on me as well. I think I still need to hire a scaling lineman, which is going to put me up to twelve twenty. Just need to make sure I can afford it, <clears throat> um, but I think it'll be more useful than giving them another fifty thousand worth of inducements. So they'll probably have either a bribe or a, or an extra reroll. Uh, uh, that that much worth of inducements is fifty at the moment. Um, yeah, but I I think I need a win to uh, to sneak into the top four. Uh, Lizard men are playing Kemri. 
and the Cambry team's not in a great shape at the moment. So that could be quite a close game. I know last time these two coaches met as well, it was a close game. Uh, it's a 2 1 overtime win. So last season, this coach had, uh, had Undead. Uh, this coach had Vampires. They met in the semi final. The Undead won it 2 1 uh, in overtime. Uh, so I think that's going to be a close one next week uh, and could be well worth a look. Uh, might, try and, might try and cover that one as well as my own game against Norse uh, and we've got four, t four teams to take a look at because we've had some levels and stuff um, so the Monster Mash we've just seen the Whitehead level took tackle um, I think with the Halfling game next week uh, in mind um, with yeah no other way of dealing with Dodge in the team I think otherwise that team is exactly as we saw it and else haven't we seen yet I suppose my team uh, yes yeah, so I do have enough to, to, to buy a new Skaven lineman um, so we'll do that for the next game um, but yeah finally got some levels on goblins so took a big hand goblin which I've been banging on about all season um, I like the stunty big hand interaction gives me a, a really good ball retriever um, get into tight spots pick up uh, on another modified 3 plus and then hopefully run away with it again uh, other goblin uh, rolled an 11 um, I thought agility 4 goblin can give me some fun opportunities as well um, means he's always going to be dodging on 2s apart from preempts our towels and diving tackle and stuff he's always going to be dodging on 2s um, yeah which which is fun uh, and I think there's a lot a lot of useful stuff I can get out of that kind of combines uh, as well the um, benefits of 2 heads and uh, extra arms to just give him loads of two plus rolls for stuff um so yeah also fun uh, mighty blood blitzer to claw uh, was the other advance we'll have my uh, block thrower back next time does have a niggling injury um this throw is missing the game uh, as it turns out i could have used the apothecary because there were no more injuries um but yeah that, there we go that's how apothecaries work uh, you either risk them or you don't and if you don't don't risk them and don't need them um, it's it's frustrating that you could have just rolled them anyway. Uh, so that's how we stand. Other things you saw were lizard men. Uh, I think picked up a couple of levels. Uh, yeah, so a sidestep skink uh, level for the second time took dive in tackle, um, and then skink rolled a double took block. I I'd personally have gone for wrestle to have um, someone who can cage dive and try and pull the ball carrier to the ground ball carrier's got block and you, you you're giving them the opportunity of a both down doing nothing rather than losing them the ball um but you know still still useful to have a block skink and block dodge and sidestep as a combination which it, uh, it's probably where this skink might be looking next so it's sidestep block and dodge on one player then if they had diving tackle as well lethal defensive player um yeah that, that were the only yeah only only levels they took and a couple of skinks. Saurus still leveling quite slowly. There was, um, when I was watching in, one Saurus uh, came close to scoring, uh, actually, um, but couldn't quite reach in the end. Had to hand off to a skink, uh, who I think was this one, who scored and then yeah rolled the double and took block. Uh, halflings. Uh, final team. Uh, yeah, very small squad now. I think they aff could afford to replace one dead halfling. Got uh, uh, Barazel the third. He's the, the new player in. Um, he's just recycling the names each time. Uh, got this one missing the next game. Um, yeah, just a miss, miss the next game. So no permanent injury on that one. Uh, but puts them on two, four, six, eight. Yeah, eight, eight players for next game. Hang on, is that right? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, so three, three journeymen next time, not five. Um, yeah, only level they took, they rolled a double and did take wrestle, um, which is exactly what I'll be planning to do with my first goblin who rolls a double, if I manage to get any. Um, would love to have a wrestle goblin on my team for uh, stunty shenanigans going after the ball carrier. Uh, but yeah, that's how we stand. Next week's games, uh, final final regular season games to decide those um, those standings. Uh, so we've got Necromantic against Tarflings, Kerstorfs against Norse. Um, Kemri against Lizardmen, and then my Underworld team playing the, uh, the second Norse team. And then uh, after those games are resolved, we have yeah two separate playoffs. So the Dented Shield playoff is first place, fourth, second place, third in the semi final. Um, one game knockout, 
two winners play in the final and then it's the same down the bottom so fifth and eighth pair off uh, for a semi-final six and seventh for the other two winners play in the final have a third place playoff as well so by the end of the season all the teams will have played nine games uh, and be ready for either season two or to bring a new team in for next season and uh, yeah we'll see what people decide to do already some talk today of uh, of, of maybe some uh, new teams coming in for next season I'm a bit in two minds about whether I want to carry on with Underworld um, I sort of feel like at the moment I probably will because um, the the more developed players get the more fun they become to play um, and that's sort of the experience I wanted with them from the beginning <clears throat> so giving up before you've really developed players um, I think it might be a shame uh, so I think I'm, at the moment I'm probably going to stick with them but if I pick up loads of injuries in these last few games I will start something new uh, don't know what um, but Hiles were my second choice for this season so maybe them anyway next week uh, we'll yeah, be covering this game and, and one other I think I think this one maybe has the most at stake uh, certainly for me because if I win and the men lose I'll finish fourth and go into the, the big playoff so I might, might look at that one and I think that'll be a a possibly well a close game anyway um, and maybe the closest one we've got uh, we'll see how we go and uh, and, and uh, be back next week with some more games